It's Saturday night, and I'm Pastor Rick Jones. Thanks so much for listening this evening. The psalmist says, O oh Lord, hear my cry. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. Trust in the covert of thy wings. Praise God. Well, of course, for the Christian, that shelter is found within the loving arms, the tender care, the embrace of our Lord Jesus. I was thinking about who it is that we have asked to be our shelter. And it's a one who came to the final moment of greatest challenge in his life on earth. When he finally said, not my will, but thine be done. He could have taken things into his own hands, but he rested in the hands of his father. And because he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, now God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. If Jesus had taken action from the cross and called 10,000 angels to destroy the world and set him free, you and I would still be slaves to sin. But because he took that wonderful, wonderful path of total surrender to the will of God, he becomes now exalted and our hiding place. Truthfully, we must follow in his steps. We too must come to the place where we take our hands off and say, Lord, not my will, but thine be done. And when we do, all the peace, the joy, the serenity of being resting in the will of God. In the rifted rock I'm resting, safely sheltered high above. There no foes nor storms molest me while within the cleft I hide. Now I'm resting, sweetly resting in the cleft once made for me. Jesus, blessed rock of ages, I will hide myself
died for each one of us. May, Lord, we take our hands off and rest in the center of your will. We pray, Lord, that you would be with those who are preaching the gospel around the world tomorrow. Encourage them, we pray. Give them souls for their harvest. And may, Lord, the church be advanced as we worship and serve the King of Kings the Lord of Lords, in whose hands we rest this evening. 